Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to, once and for all, make sure that your WordPress database is set up to be serving HTTPS web pages. And there is a lot that goes into it, but I'm gonna make it as simple as possible here. Basically, in your database, there are some references, old references to HTTP, and we need to just go in there and change them from HTTP to HTTPS. Unfortunately, this is a pretty manual process where we're gonna have to be executing some SQL code, but that's okay, because I'm gonna walk you through the step, every step of the way, um, so you know exactly how to do this. Now, the one prereq for this is that you'll need PHP My Admin Access. It's pretty much a GUI interface over top of your uh, MySQL database. So if you can check those few boxes here, we'll get right into the tutorial and we'll start out by just showing you what the problem is, right? Right here, I have Tony Teaches Tech, my website, and it says it's not secure. And the reason it's not secure, well, first of all, there is a valid certificate, as you can see here, is a, the certificate is valid, right? You would expect to see the padlock up here that the that this is being served over HTTPS, and I mean it is, but we're still getting that not secure error, and that's because there's mixed content. There's HTTP content on this page and HTTPS content on this page, and that all ties into what I said in the beginning about the database. We have to go back into the database and make sure there's no references to HTTP. Now, nine times out of 10, the reason you get into this pickle is because if you're in your WordPress dashboard and you go into settings, you never updated um, your WordPress address URL or your site address from HTTP to HTTPS when you installed your certificate, your SSL certificate. So first step, make sure we do that now. We're gonna go change those to HTTPS for both of these and come down here and hit save changes. Now, like I said, you have to have access to your um, MySQL database. I mean, you could do this on the command line, but uh, for us, we're gonna use PHP My Admin, and I can access my PHP My Admin um, interface through my hosting account. So I'm gonna log into WPX Hosting and go into um, my hosting here and down into my database section. And in here, uh, what I actually have to do is click on PHP My Admin up here, and that's gonna open that, that web GUI, GUI that I'm talking about. Okay, so the website that we're gonna be working with is Tony Teaches Tech. The database for that is Tony Teaches. So I'm gonna open this. And the first thing we're gonna do is go into the search section here. And what we're gonna search for is basically um, any occurrences of Tony Teaches dot tech in the database. Now, we wanna make sure that we include anything that comes after that. We'll put a wild card character in for that and anything that comes back uh, to the to the left of that, so wild card character there. And we wanna make sure it is HTTP only. And like what I like to do um, basically is to start off with www to make sure that there's any occurrences of this. So in, in short, we're just gonna look for your URL, which is this part of it, plus HTTP, or sorry, plus www plus HTTP. So let's see if we find any of those in all of the tables. We'll go ahead and hit go down here, and you'll see that there are no occurrences whatsoever in any of the tables, any of the columns in the whole entire database. So that's good, that's a good start. Now let's drop the www and just search for HTTP colon slash slash your domain name. Same thing inside all the tables and this is where we're gonna see all of the matches start to show up. So we got three matches here, two, four, 342, two, uh, 328, whole bunch of them. So what we're gonna do is just work our way through each one of these tables. Every, every row here is a table, and we're gonna replace all occurrences of HTTP with HTTPS. So let's go for the low hanging fruit here. All these occurrences in the WP posts table. So if we browse this table, We'll come down in here and we'll see that there's a lot of columns. Let's think of it like an Excel spreadsheet. There's all these columns, all these rows for each one of the different posts that you have. And I'm just gonna use control find on my um, my keyboard here and just search for Tony teaches teaches.tech. And we're gonna look in the table here to see if we can find any occurrences. And we do, we see in the this column here, the GUID column. We see a whole bunch of occurrences of HTTP colon slash slash Tony teaches dot tech. So that's what we want to change first right off the bat. So how do we do that? I suggest opening a new tab. So right click over here, open a new tab 
And over here, instead of going to the um, search, which we did before, let's go to the SQL tab. And I'm going to use my cheat sheet over here to copy some some code that we're going to be working with. And I'll have I'll have this code linked in the description below, so you don't have to type it. Um, this is, you know, basically what we're going to be working with the entire time here. This this uh, template, think of it as. So it's basically saying update the table, set the column to uh, find any occurrences of HTTP and replace it with HTTPS where we find this occurrence, which is our domain name. So what we want to do is update the T to the table name. So what was the name of the table? Go back over to this tab and the name of the table was, I believe it was WP posts, but let's just make sure. So yes, WP posts and uh, the column was G U I D. Okay. So anytime we see call, we'll replace that with G U I D. GUID. And the cool thing about this, uh, that looks good. Make sure everything looks good. Um, and if it does, you can simulate the query. And this says it found 317 rows where it's going to actually go in there and replace HTTP with HTTPS. So if you're happy with that, we can actually hit go to execute the query. And if we go back here to um, this, this page, we can go up to the top again, show search criteria to to re-execute the search. And now instead of, you know, 300 plus um, matches in the WP post table, we have only 62. So there's other occurrences of Tony teaches tech, HTTP, um, Tony teaches tech in this database. So let's see if we can find them. And if we go across here, I'm not seeing anything. I don't think, oh, there we go. So this is, what column is this in? This is in the, GUID column. So that's, um, oh, <laughs> right. Uh, we have to be searching for HTTP colon slash slash. And then if we go down here, we actually, uh, we see a match down here. And what column is this in? This is in the post content column. So let's do the same exact thing that we just did, except this time we're going to use the post content column. So back over to this tab show query box and instead of GUID do post underscore content and we'll copy that paste it here paste it here we're looking for something like 67 62 very good so we'll go ahead and execute that and basically this is what we're going to keep doing we're going to keep iterating back through this um, and that was 62 so when we refresh this query by clicking on show search criteria and hit go now we should see zero matches in the WP posts um, table, which we don't, or yeah, it's zero now. So that's perfect. That's what we wanted to do. Let's keep working through here. We'll go to the WP Yoast indexable table. We'll browse through that and we'll search for HTTP colon slash slash Tony teaches dot tech in any of these columns. Looks like we have a few matches in the permalink column. I'm just gonna quickly look uh, the Twitter image column and the open graph image column. So let's do one of those each at one at a time. So what's the table? The table is WP Yoast indexable. So copy that, come over here, show the search or show the query box, change the table name to that. And then the first one was permalink. So let's do permalink, copy that, paste, paste, simulate it, 97 matches, hit go. Very good. Now let's do the other one. It was uh, Twitter image, Twitter underscore image, copy, paste, paste, simulate it, 310 rows match, hit close, hit go, there we go, and the last one was, uh, I, I don't remember the last one, the last one was open graph image, so over here, we'll go to open graph image, copy, paste, paste, and simulate it, 309 rows, hit go, very good. So let's go back over to the search tab here. We'll go to the top and we'll show the search criteria again, refresh the query, hit go, and now in that table, we, which one was it with the, I forget, the Yoast indexable. So we still have some, some matches, but, um, Honestly, from my experience in this, those probably won't matter for what we're trying to do. You know, um, you'll see what I mean in a second here. So we're just trying to get most of them changed. Uh, you could 
take some more time to figure out which columns that's in. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to move on. Um, let's do the Yoast SEO links one here. So we'll browse in here. And I can see it right here in this URL column. We have all of these starting with HTTP. So let's um, copy the name of this table. Go over to our other tab, show query box. Paste that in here. And it was URL. And we'll just type that URL. And here, URL. We'll simulate it. We got 26 rows. Actually execute it. Come back over here. If we rerun this query, we should see zero results now in the Yoast SEO links table. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we don't see any. Um, let's see if there's anything else that I think would trigger the HTTPS. Maybe some of these comments. Um, let's do those while we're in here. So in the comments, the, the comment content looks like it has some matches. So right there in the yellow. Um, so let's do that. So let's do the comment content in the WP comments table. So one last time here, we'll paste in the table name, comment, content, copy that, paste, paste, simulate it, three batches, hit go, back over to our other tab here. If we rerun the query, this should now say zero for WP comments and it does. Okay, so if we need to come back in here, we can, but let's go ahead and test to see if we got rid of the, um, if we get the lock icon now. So if we go to tonyteaches.tech, we don't get the lock icon. Uh, let's let's make sure that's um, not a false positive here. So if you go to developer tools in Google Chrome and click and hold the refresh button, empty cache and hard reload, do we get the lock icon? No, we don't. So one other thing I like to try is to empty the cache. So I'm going to empty the auto optimize cache and um, the W3 total cache. See if that has any behavior changes in behavior and then we'll open up a uh, just a guest window here. Go to tonyteaches.tech. Do we get it yet? Not yet. Okay, so we have to change a couple more database entries. Let's see, what else could it be? WP options, I'm not sure what this table is. Um, search console property, let's, let's go ahead and change that. So we got the WP options and the option value, and we'll go back into the query box. W options, it was options, value, I believe. Options, value, do, do, do. option, value, singular. And copy, paste, paste, simulate it. We got two rows, hit it to execute it. Um, very good. Let's just keep going here, post meta. We will, it's in this meta value column. So post meta and meta underscore value. So we'll do that meta underscore value, copy, paste, paste, simulate it, looks good, go. Uh, what else do we got? We got those two taken care of, Yoast indexable. There's 21 matches here, and let's see, HTTP colon, oh, this is the one we couldn't find before, Tony teaches.tech. Hmm. This one is a little more tricky to find this. Um, let's see if there's another one we can change. Nope, that's the last last of them. Um, because I don't know how to find that right here, let's go back over to our website, see if we fixed it with those last two. So Tony, t Tony teaches tech. There we go. We got it. We got the, the lock icon. And that's about it. I hope you guys learned something about how the MySQL database backend works for a WordPress website. I know this one was a bit of a manual process going through each table, doing the find and replace, but um, it's a good, it's a good, you know, introduction if you're not that familiar at this point with the WordPress database backend. So if you have any specific questions for your website, um, in regards to finding and replacing HTTP with HTTPS. Let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. And if you got any value out of this video, or in other words, if you were able to successfully um, change all those occurrences to HTTPS, give this video a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more videos like this, as far as WordPress, WordPress maintenance, everything in between website hosting, then subscribe to this channel. And if you do do that, I'll see you in the next video.